Alright, here's the problem. If p of x is equal to x minus root 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 2, q of x is equal to x plus root 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2, and r of x is equal to x squared plus 2 times x to the 8th plus 16, what is the coefficient of x to the 4th in p of x times q of x times r of x? So here's the solution without the trick. It's basically just a brute force. So we have to calculate a long, tedious process of arithmetic without error for p of x, q of x, and r of x. We should get for p of x, x cubed minus 2x squared minus x squared root 2 plus 2x minus 2x root 2 minus 2 root 2. q of x should equal x cubed plus 2x squared plus x squared root 2 plus 2x minus 2x root 2 minus 2 root 2. And finally, r of x should equal x to the 10th plus 2x to the 8th plus 16x squared plus 32. Headed for another long process of multiplication, we multiply all of these three functions out to get x to the 16th minus 256. And the question is asking for the coefficient of x to the 4th, and if you ask me, I don't see any x to the 4th, so the coefficient is 0. So here's the solution with the trick. First off, we have to notice that p of x times q of x times r of x is equal to the product of these six expressions, which means we can rearrange them in any order without it affecting the result. Because of that, we will use the difference of squares property a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So which two terms out of these six terms do we see in a plus b and in a minus b? Yep, it is the x minus root 2 in p of x and the x plus root 2 in q of x. When we multiply these together according to our formula, we get x squared minus 2. So then using x squared minus 2, which of the four remaining would it pair nicely with? That's right, it's x squared plus 2. When we multiply these together, we'd get x to the fourth minus 4. So which of the remaining three expressions fit nicely with x to the fourth minus four? So here it's not very obvious, so we can, let's say, scratch that idea for now. We can go ahead and multiply x squared minus 2x plus 2 and x squared plus 2x plus 2, because they're very similar and we could probably guess there's something going on there. When we multiply these two, we actually get x to the fourth plus four. And there is a simple breakdown of the factorizing, which I will flash on the screen right now. Here it is. So now we can say that x to the 4th plus 4 times x to the 4th minus 4 is equal to x to the 8th minus 16. And then the last expression we see fits great with x to the 8th minus 16, so we multiply those together to get x to the 16th minus 256. Like the last solution, I don't see any x to the 4th, so the coefficient of x to the 4th is one ginormous goose egg. Or zero. I mean, yeah, goose egg looks like a zero. We can now consider this problem solved. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share the videos with your friends, and comment down below any questions you have about math, any questions you have about my videos, or comment anything in general. Um. Other than that, yep, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!